Hey there, folks. Welcome back to Epic Fail or Win. Where's it Epic Win or Fail? I don't know. It keeps changing. Here's what I do know. This is going to be a biased look at this game. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, wait, how can you have a biased look at this game? Have you, have you played it before? And no, I've never played this game before. I don't know what this game is. Ge like, genuinely. I've, I've never played this game before. We're going to be, we're going to be jumping in fresh and new. Um... However, the reason why my opinion of this game is going to be biased is because this game has already been really annoying. Uh, and what I mean by that is that I open the game to test it, as I as I do all these games before I, I record these videos, before I stream uh, and play the game on stream, and then also record. And I will run the game before the stream. And when I did that, the game did this really annoying thing where sometimes on Epic Games, they require you to sort of allow the game to be connected to your Epic Games account, right? Which is annoying in its own way. But it's usually just you press allow and then the game works. Um, this game, on the other hand, uh, does this thing where it forces you to, like, re-put in your Epic Games information in order to play the game. Um, and that is very annoying if you are like me and don't remember your passwords because they are actually secure uh, instead of being, you know, five button presses of the same button and then one number. Um, so you have to then, you know, find the password and, and, you know, copy and paste that and do that and then you do that. And then it then forced me to do the, oh, we've sent you the code sent you the confirmation code to your email. So then I had to go to the email, get the confirmation code, put that in. I did that, so I was like, great, I'm set up. That was really annoying, but I'm I'm set up for the, for the stream now. I'm set up to do the video. And then I did the stream, and when I started the game, it forced me to put all of that in again. It remembered nothing, despite having selected remember this device. Not only did it force me to have to go and find the password again and do all that and like sign in through the thing again, it then sent the code again. Had to get the email with the code in it, put that and like... So, this game has already very much annoyed me. So, if there is some... If some bias comes out here, uh, I thought I should take a moment to explain why. Um, that is why this game has already annoyed me. So, I don't really know anything about this game other than that it, it, it seems quite story-driven. Uh, and because of that, I, I, you know, don't really want to show too much of it, because I feel like story-driven games are very much, you know, just show a quick, quick peek about what it looks like early on, and then, you know, let people discover the story for themselves. Really need to sharpen the quick look of it. Uh, other games you can take a little longer, maybe more mechanically complicated, show a bit more, you know, 40 minutes sometimes you need for stuff like that, but I feel like here we need to keep it nice and quick. Um, I, I think, you know, let's, let's just, uh, let's just go for the, the normal, show what it would be like normally if you were playing this game. I, for a second, was like, why is it auto-saving? Uh, and then <laughs> realized I had to press F. Sorry, Control, I, I'm, I can't quite hear you. I'm, uh, I'm listening to music. Oh, there we go. Now I'm getting you. Oh no, German posting. That's not too difficult. One okay, fake German posting. Good, he, this the, this guy is doing the uh, the thing that I would do if I was doing a German accent, which is saying "ja" at the end of okay. at the end of sentences in order to try to keep in order to try to keep it going. You know, it's like yeah, we're just talking like this, yeah, just to make sure that I'm keeping the German accent going. You know, having a good time here, pretending to be German. Yeah. It's like I'm a German trying, pretending to be a, a, an American and not doing too good at it, yeah, you know? 
Wait, ah, uh, wait, okay, we got something, 43. It's a few hours afterwards, it looks clean. 43? Mm -hmm. I feel like... I feel like a German would probably say three instead of three. Let's get you in and where you need to be. I got plenty of Germans uh, in my stream usually, though, so you know, I'll, I'll have to I'll have to con confer with them um, over how they would say the word three in English and if they would get the full T H R sound. Though to be seconds. fair to all so people the speaking the English history. language, uh, the English three, many people in two, England, uh, one, when saying the number three, initiated. say free. So you know, it's a made-up language that's stupid. So I don't think you gotta worry too much about English. Temporal crossover complete. Light drones inbound. All right. Light drones crossover complete. I'm gonna be honest with you. If this game is in first person, I'm going to be very surprised. I did not think this was a first person game. This looks like it's about to be a first person game, though. Uh. So, SCP, that's the, uh. That's the, like, copy past of. Uh, like sci-fi like okay. horror story okay. stuff right so is Temporal that is that what we expect from this it's funnily enough it's a uh, genre stuff that I, I i like but ooh, this is this is a very sensitive mouse but i think i'm just gonna put up with it rather than going through the setting though let me tell you here look if if you get queasy easily look away because i'm gonna show you how sensitive this is yeah. Right towards that little white dot Very sensitive. Ooh, okay. Do you understand? Yeah. Ooh, I like that. Wonderful, ya. Yeah. Alright, the fact also the fact that I'm called 43 um is uh you know, can't be good. Um for many reasons. One, the implication of who came before me, and two, the implication that 47 has not yet happened. And as we all know, 47 is the best of us. So, you know, until until 47 happens, you can assume that I'm gonna die horribly. All right, let's, uh, oh, from, from Paris. You know what, let's look at the settings. I lied, we are gonna look at the settings. So, we're gonna, we're going to bring the look sensitive. Oh, that's an awful noise. Uh, bring the look sensitivity down. And. Okay. Did not realize that that wasn't already at the highest. So I just saw it and I thought, hi, that can't be right. All right. So, you know, that gives you a sense of what the settings look like as well. Um, I feel like this game has some... Uh, auto HDR problems for those of you who play games in, in that sort of way. So be aware of that. But I think if you're if you're playing it if you're playing it otherwise, I don't think uh, you're gonna see much of a problem. So yeah, I didn't realize how uh, spooky this game was gonna be or not. So it's a good thing we actually have a spooky game. I was meaning to play a spooky game, so... Epic has sort of done it for me. Let me, let me put my, put my thing down. Thank you. So, you know, there you go. If, are you a, a fan of first-person horror? Um, what's interesting is that it's first-person horror or at least I'm assuming, I guess I'm assuming horror based on kind of the tone and atmosphere and seeing the SCP thing. So, you know, maybe, uh, please, please you know, be aware that that is a little bit of an assumption. But there is choices to be made, story narrative stuff to be discovered and, and different paths that the game can go by the, you know, sense of things in the, in the options at the beginning before you start the game. Um, so you gotta go up, oh, up oh, the stairs we go. Is 
Is that a child laughing? Oh, that's just... Oh. Oh, who? Oh, come on. Are you joking? It's like tiny, tiny staircase up to this thing. Oh. What a joke. What? Like... Why? Like, look, what? I guess for the high ceilings? Like, why would you... And you got lower ceilings here. Just to... Just to what? Have the landing? He, like, why doesn't it just go up to the next floor? Why does it stop? He, what? Like, I, okay, this isn't the game. This is an architecture thing. Architects, why the heck would you would you build the staircase going up to here when you could just build it going all the way up to here and then it would all be correct? Because then you wouldn't need to have stairs going up to this thing either. Very strange. I'm thoroughly confused by that. Is that like, you know what? I've seen a lot of really stupid houses in the UK. So I'd buy it. Like I'd buy that a real house has things like this. Uh, you know, if you live in the UK, you know, your house, your, your flat, your whatever, it might just be slanted. That's right. It's just slanted. Like, you know, you put a ball on the ground, it's going to roll to the other side. Um, Activating signal boosters. But, Initiating scan. you know, so... How does how does that happen? I am uh I'm getting word in my ear that it might be because it was added as an addition to the house after the house was built. Conclusion event determined. But location transfer to visualizer. My question about it being an addition would I think would still remain like why would you like, it doesn't make any sense because the the room in question is built on the exact same level as the other floor is. Like, the same way that there's stairs there that lead up to it, there's stairs there that lead up to it. So why wouldn't you just have staircase go up to the floor? Why would you have a landing that is before you actually get to this floor? <laughs> it doesn't- it, do, it doesn't make any sense, even if it was an addition. It's very- is a strange old place. All right, I found a, I found a fireman. Does conclusion event mean how these people died? Is that like a conclusion event is a really interesting sci-fi term for like how somebody died. So if that's what that means here, that's, that's neat. I've never seen that before. All right, welcome to your conclusion event. Oh no, where, where'd he go? Alright. All six should have survived, but time is being corrupted and now they are very, very I got dead. disoriented there because my alarm went off in the background. I don't think you heard it, <laughs> but I had an alarm go off in the background that I don't know what the alarm is for. So, spooky. Analyzing timeline, evaluating events. So far, I, I don't know. I kind of like this. Like it's it's, you know, it's the first level, so it's it's very slow. It's very deliberate. Um. Here's the end of the time map, 43. But you're far- okay, the so you're- The is a conclusion event, and you can return here and rewatch it at any time. So you're kind of figuring out how Small each of these people the died. events for each of these subjects. If you change someone's fate, then both of their final event and the conclusion event will change. Hmm. The white events are all part of the current timeline and can be watched at any time and in any order. The grayed out events are potential events from alternative timelines and cannot currently be watched. All right, so you got to unlock different story if things to see them. If you change a decision which alters the timeline, some events will change state from one to the other. 
Once you have watched the decision, 43, it will appear... Alright, so that all makes sense. So, so it is in which case... I guess the thing the I'm. I guess the thing I'm wondering now is: well is this horror at all, or is this more of, you know, I, I like walking simulator is a is a maligned is term. I I know I don't I don't use it negatively, but like, does it have a bit? Is it is it more simulation? Um, and you know, often people use the the term walking simulator almost insultingly, but. And I'll check. Everything is kind of games that are considered quote unquote walking simulators often end up being like pretty spooky um, because they are very atmospheric. They are you walking through detailed environments and and they can end up being pretty, pretty spooky. Good. We're ready. Let's go. So maybe the 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 Day scariness, one, the horror going okay, on here. 100. Location, is is less Tom's sort of room. active horror and more uh passive horror atmospheric horror which i'm i'm really into actually so that is interesting in its own way because like the notion of this as like a job is like very scary but interesting um what's up dude i got him I mean, yeah, he's, he's looking better. He's got, a, your friend. he's got a budgie. Oh, you look Frankie. No. It's not as often. I do like this little device that we've got here. But he's, I've said it before many times, but his, we're, uh, we're his, big fans around here of what we have coined on this channel as Thick Punk, which is sort of an all-encompassing term for yeah. technology that... Um, is both sort of futuristic and archaic you know, simultaneously. Uh, just, you know, similar to just don't know that Alien, you know. Alien has thick punk, right? Because it's like, you know, big clacky, big clacky keys and, and uh, 70s screens, but in space, you know. So it's very, what we call thick punk around here. Um, wait and see if Frank gets better on his own. Book vet appointment for Frank. Uh, I would, unless there is some sort of financial, oh, no, I've hit the controller. Yeah, That's the right. biggest jump scare of them all. Unless there's some sort of financial reasons why for next he wouldn't be so, able to do it. Uh, it for I think he should just go to the vet. So, sorry. That's, that's the door. I've got to go. I'll speak to you later. Bye. Take it back. This is it. Do, do people like this? You know, like oh, look. if you had a if you had a bed here, would you really want a giant screen there? Like, is your neck gonna be comfortable looking up at that from the? Does anyone have a TV in a position like that? I guess it's because he's got a couch here, so he can watch it from the couch. But like. There's a better way you could organize this room, surely. Uh, hold on. Let's let's just do some quick some quick feng shui work here. Um, maybe. Oh, what's the, the radiators there? You know, you could fit this bed, probably in this cubby. I think it's weird calling it a cubby. Oh, hello. Wait. Liquid feed? Oh no, this is gardening stuff. Okay. I thought for a second this said this was 3,000 pounds. Like 3,500 pounds. I was gonna be like, you what? You know, you could fit the bed in that and then it would really open up the rest of the space. Maybe, uh... Maybe get an armchair. Nah. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I think you just sort of need to have the TV there, couch there, uh, desk and whatnot in that corner, and then maybe you put the bed. Oh no, because because then you'd have to put the bed against this wall, 
and you don't want the bed to be against that wall. This is a poorly shaped room. All right, let's, uh, what I, wait, 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 what am I doing? Where's my thing gone? There's my thing. Wait. In That's interesting. All right. Pick up objects. All right, my bad. Oh, no, this is the one I just watched. So to vet or not to vet is what we just did. Birdcage is now gone. So it's interesting that you can actually kind of there's some there's some stuff here to to read through as well, which is which is interesting. Oh god, we're in Manchester. Oh. All right, never mind. That's going to be the end of the video. Uh I think I think you all get the idea uh of the game. You know, it, I I think this is all pretty clear. It is is interesting. Like there's there's something here certainly. Um but unfortunately uh, there's also Manx. So, because of that, you know, average Manchester resident over here, uh, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to end it there. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.